Okay, hey everybody, I'm going to show you the quick version of how to replace a wheel hub in your Jeep TJ XJ. You could even refer to a JK. Of course, you got to jack it up, remove the tire, remove the brakes. Two bolts hold the calipers on. Once you remove those two bolts, you'll be able to get a pry bar in and you'll be able to lift the brakes off carefully without damaging them. Then you want to hang that up and not hang it from the brake line. Now you just got to remove the cotter pin, which holds the spring washer and that little metal plate that helps prevent the nut from backing out. The cotter pin might be a little of a pain to get out, but you'll get it. And use an impact, spin the nut off. That part's pretty easy. Hopefully it's not too rusted. And then remove the three bolts that hold the wheel hub on. They're all 12 point sockets. And the trick that I like to use sometimes is that leave the threads in just a little bit and I use a brass hammer because it's not going to damage the bolts and I tap it out enough to bust the wheel hub free then once I broke it free enough I remove the bolts and then pull the hub assembly out that's all pretty easy and then when you go to put the new wheel hub back in I like to put a bolt in for a guide it helps keep that dust shield in place and when you put the wheel bearing in it kind of helps guide it and it makes assembly a little bit more easier instead of trying to juggle all the parts and hopefully that they stay in place. So get the one bolt started, put the other two in, and then use an air ratchet, electric ratchet, whatever you have, just kind of snug them down. And then you want to torque them to spec afterwards. You might want to Google and reference what the torque is for your application. And just torque the three bolts in the back for the wheel hub. Torque them. So now before you put that together, you gotta make sure you have the washer, little wave washer, and of course the nut in that piece. Torque it down to 150 pounds. There we go. Put that wave washer on. Put that on. The wheel bearing kit doesn't come with a new cotter pin, so you might want to have one. I have a kit. Those cotter pins are a little on the long side, so I'm just going to trim them down. It's going to bend them in place trim them down and then they're good to go make sure it's torqued down the spec make sure your bolts in the back are torqued down the spec and then of course put your brakes and assembly everything back together so i hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one i don't like to waste time straight to the point if you can't figure it out i can't help you take care